Imagine yourself stepping off the plane in Rome this spring. What will you wear and what will you take with you? If I were traveling to Italy this spring, this is what I would pack. I would start with this wrinkle-free travel dress. And then as always, I always bring these layering tanks for versatility. They're part of every wardrobe that I pack. I would bring two different sweaters for warmth, a beige cardigan and a black cardigan. And today we are sticking to a beige and black neutral color palette for easy mixing and matching of outfits. I would also bring this black and white striped tee and then this scoop neck white tee for warmth. A denim jacket and a beige blazer for layering and warmth because I understand that the weather in Italy can be quite unpredictable in spring. And then of course I would bring this trench coat for added warmth, especially in the evening when the temperature drops. A pair of jeans. And these are a lighter wash and ankle length, lightening up the color for spring. And then two pairs of crop pants, one linen beige and one wrinkle-free black. Now if linen is not for you, feel free to substitute that for some polyester pants that don't wrinkle. Also, I would pack a crossbody bag and a scarf, but you may want to buy your scarf when you get to Italy as a souvenir. So starting with the wrinkle-free black travel dress. I just love this dress because it's so comfortable and so versatile. I am wearing a canvas sneaker. I spoke with two, or I consulted with two tour guides in Rome that said an athletic shoe is what identifies you to pickpockets and swindlers as a tourist. So they recommended going with a low sole fashion sneaker that's still comfortable. So here I've paired the denim dress with the denim or the travel dress with the denim jacket. They also recommended a purse that zips close because let's face it, pickpockets are a thing. So putting it all together here, the wrinkle-free travel dress, the denim jacket, the crossbody bag and sneakers. This would be a good look for walking around town, for doing the touristing thing. And then I'm adding the scarf for warmth. And as I said a moment ago, I'm showing you a scarf. The tour guides were all in agreement that women need a scarf in Italy, but you may want to buy your scarf in Italy as a souvenir of your trip. And now I'm going to pair the wrinkle-free travel dress with this very soft cashmere button-up cardigan. I love the color of this. It is a workhorse in my wardrobe. I wear it pretty much four seasons and I love how it pairs with this black dress, but look how it comes to life with the scarf. And I am not a scarf or accessory person. A scarf is really the extent of accessories other than a purse that you'll see on this account but I think it's totally appropriate for Italy and both tour guides I consulted with said scarves are a must for women. So 
so I'm now going for more of an evening dinner look. I'm taking that same black travel dress that I wore for touristing in the afternoon and pairing it with this beige blazer for a dinner or cocktails look. Now I am packing these ballet flats. Everyone was in agreement about no heels in Italy, even espadrilles, that it's just too dangerous with the cobblestone streets and uneven pavement, but you might want to pack a different shoe. I'm just a ballet flat kind of girl. The little inner ballerina that's still inside of me can't let go of them. And now I'm going to take that scarf that's also in the beige and black color palette and really give this outfit some flair and bring it to life by just draping it around my neck. Both guides told me that the evenings in Italy in spring can get a bit chilly, so a trench coat might be a good idea to add an extra layer of added warmth. For a more casual look, I'm pairing the white layering tank with the jeans, and now we're going to pair some layers over it, starting with this black button-up cardigan that has that lady coat, lady jacket feel to it, that Chanel boxy style. And I am pairing it with canvas sneakers here or a fashion sneaker, and again, wearing athletic shoes in Europe is what identifies you as a tourist, and that's pretty universal in Europe, not just in Italy, but in France as well. Still comfortable, still casual, and totally appropriate for a day of sightseeing. Next, I'm going to pair the jeans and tank with that cashmere sweater again. Really soft. Again, if it gets warmer in the afternoon, you can take this off, take the cardigan off, and drape it around your shoulders. A very casual, touristy sightseeing look. And while I'm pairing it here with the trench coat for warmth, one of the things the tour guys recommended was a packable shell raincoat. I'm not showing you one here, but I will link to one as well. Now I'm swapping out the sleeveless tank for sleeves, a scoop neck tee for added warmth in the evening pairing it with the beige blazer for a dinner look or an evening out look. Very smart casual and the ballet flats give it an elegant feel. Taking it a step further with the scarf for some added warmth and I'm not really big on scarf tying. There's accounts that they do nothing but scarf tying. I just kind of like to drape it around my neck and just add some visual effect and interest to the outfit. And if it's going to be chilly in the evening, you can definitely drape the trench coat over your outfit with actually, without actually having to put on the trench coat for warmth. Let me just be clear. I love linen. I love its easy, breezy, the breathable fabric. But if you 
and the wrinkles don't bother me. But if the wrinkles bother you, then you can certainly substitute a pair of polyester pants that do not wrinkle. And when I was consulting with these tour guides, they were actually asking why Americans don't like linen. It's very European, has a very European feel to it. I'm from Florida. Linen is just part of life for us because of the lightweight breathability of the fabric. You can certainly pair these linen pants or beige polyester pants, whatever you choose, with other tees, but I'm not showing you all combinations you can make. I just really like the way the beige pants look with the striped tee in this denim jacket here. Now the denim jacket I'm showing you is fitted, so there's not much room for layers underneath of it, but I really like the way it looks here with the striped t-shirt. One of the most comfortable yet elegant and versatile pieces in my wardrobe are these wrinkle-free travel pants. Look at how they move when I move. They're very comfortable, good for packing because they don't wrinkle. Here I'm going to pair them with the cashmere cardigan and ballet flats. This is more of an elevated look, not quite a touristing look. Um, but if you're going to have a nice lunch or go somewhere for dinner early, this would be a nice look. For a more casual look with these wrinkle-free pants, I'm pairing them with the denim jacket. And again, this is a fitted denim jacket. It creates more of a silhouette rather than being boxy, which is what I really like about it. And I've paired it with the canvas sneakers for a casual touristing look. And let me be clear, these are definitely stretchy pants. So if you are eating pasta, you know you're gonna eat a good big meal. These are a good choice. And here I'm going to show how you can elevate these pants by pairing them with a blazer and a nicer set of shoes. Again, I just packed flat shoes for this, or I chose flat shoes to pack um, because of the way the streets are in Europe. They're usually very uneven and can be dangerous in heels. Adding the scarf here, look how it really elevates this outfit and adds a touch of elegance. Again, the trench coat for warmth, you don't have to put your arms through it, you can just drape it over your shoulders and look elegant and fabulous. Until we meet again, my friends. <laughs>